If you want to make your own customized report, start by clicking on the Reports tab. Under App Specific Report, choose the app you want to make a report for. Now click on the big red button at the bottom. Start by giving your report a name and a description. Then you can choose which columns you want to see in your report. First, you'll see a list of system fields that are common to all apps, like who initiated the item, what business step it's on currently, and when it was last updated. You can also choose from fields that are unique to that app. Here, I'm going to choose the account name, the total amount of the sale, and the proposed discount percentage. There's also an option to select fields inside a table for your form. Choose the table, and then choose the fields you want to display. If you display table data, more than one line may show for each item. You can either click a column name or drag and drop. You can also reorganize the columns to suit your needs. KISSflow will show you some sample data of what you will see in the report. There's an option to allow report viewers to see the entire form. When this icon displays, a user will only see the fields in the form that are marked as editable or read-only. Hidden fields will remain hidden. You can add a filter to the report to limit the kind of data that you'll see. For example, I only want to see items currently in progress. Then you can choose which column to sort your data by. Once you are done, scroll up and click Done. Now you can view your report to make sure it looks right. This icon allows you to view the form for each item and make any edits. If you want to edit the configuration of the report, click here. You can export this report as a CSV file to your email or print it. App admins can delete, nudge, and reassign items directly from the report. You can also set filters for each column to further customize the form. When you are looking at the report from the app-specific view, you can export the report, copy it to make slight modifications, share it with any user in your system, or delete the report. That's how to create a new report in KISSflow.